DIY Whitewood. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and don't miss a thing. We are on a DIY adventure. We want to save time. We want to save money. We want to reinvent pieces to make them look like brand new or to just change their personality. If you haven't joined us before, we are white wood furniture. We have been crafting real, raw, solid wood furniture for 30 plus years. So we know a thing or two about furniture and a ton about real solid wood. Today, we are in a super charming cottage home. We're gonna remake over, a, or we're going to make over, I should say, an accent table that's in the foyer with chalk paint. So come on, let's get started. We are in a cozy country cottage house today, and we're gonna make over this little accent table. This table was in our line about 16, 17 years ago, and it was part of our Kitchen Classics collection. Here are the products we'll be using today. A stir stick, paintbrush, acetone, a spray bottle filled with water, our blue shop towels, and our Dixie Belle mint julep chalk paint. So we're going to start off giving this table a good cleaning. We like to use acetone just because it's a deep, deep cleaner. But you can use any degreaser to really clean your furniture before you get started. We're going to give our chalk paint a good stirring and wet down our brush. Chalk paint is a very, very dry paint. Let's get to painting. We're going to start off with our top. It's a great idea to always work from top to bottom on your piece. When you have a larger surface like a tabletop, work in small sections and make sure that you keep your brush damp. That way it's going to give you a little bit more time to move your paint over the surface before you start streaking and having a bunch of brush marks. The top edges of this piece are slightly rounded. They're not flat. So you don't want to muddy up that corner or get a thickness and lose the definition of that corner. So what we recommend is kind of dabbing your paintbrush down on the side. And then vertically, after you have some paint already on the, that corner or that rounded area, then go back with a nice horizontal line to kind of blend everything back in together. That'll give you a smooth line without getting too much paint in those corners and losing that definition. So next, we're going to move from painting our top and our top edges to going to the sides of the piece. Again, we cannot stress enough, because chalk paint is such a dry, dry paint, to keep your brush damp throughout the process. You want to make sure that you're reaching all visible areas. Don't just look at the area that you're painting. Kind of be peeking around the different viewpoints of your piece to make sure you don't miss a visible area. There's nothing worse than getting to the end, cleaning everything up, and realizing that you've missed a place that's going to be seen. Though this is an older piece, 
and is no longer in our collection, we have a ton of accent and side tables. Perfect for your foyer, your half bath, your living room. Just go to our site at whitewoodfurniture.com to find yours today. You'll notice the spindle type legs on this piece. Again, we don't want to lose any detail when we're painting. We want to keep that beautiful detail that's in our piece. So you'll notice when we do those areas that we, we touch in our paint, then we smooth it out going all the way around that detailed area with the paintbrush, essentially moving it with the turning of the spindle-like piece. Once we finish the piece, we go back Make sure that we've hit all of our areas. They look like they're all covered. Now, if this were a piece that were going to be used a lot in regard to maybe putting a remote or a drink or mail or keys or whatever, we would have covered it with a protectant. This is literally just a showpiece. It sits there, it's not used, so we opted to not put a protective coating over it. This turned out adorable. Fits in so perfectly with the space. It goes, the paint goes perfectly with the distressed paint that's on the fireplace currently. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now. Don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time.